Now this is perhaps one of the most beautiful kind of features that volcanoes can make, a very big high eruption column. And in the last 10 years or so, we've made really a lot of progress in understanding what these explosions do and the kind of things that can go on. And for most of the rest of this uh, lecture, I'm going to be talking to you about the kind of things that go on in these big explosions. Why are they a problem? Because this stuff coming out of the volcano is coming out as a very fast um, stream of hot gas and dust and magma and bits of liquid and all sorts of stuff. It's coming out at a few hundred meters per second. That's about the speed of a jet airliner. That's how fast it's coming out. But if I was just to throw something into the air at the speed of a jet airliner, it would go about one or two kilometers into the air, and then it would fall down. Now, these things go 20 or 30 kilometers into the air. They go much, much higher than they should. We're going to do an experiment now, which is going to help us to understand what actually goes on. This is a tank of water, but rather special water. At the top of the tank here is fresh water. And at the bottom of the tank is salt water, which is much heavier, it's denser than the fresh water, and there's a gradient between the two. This is to match the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, the air is much lighter at the top than down the bottom where we are here, where it's denser. At the bottom of my tank, I have a volcano, and I'm going to feed a stream of liquid into that volcano, which is colored red. And the liquid that's coming into the volcano is fresh water. It's the same density as the top of the tank, and it's a lot lighter than everything else in the tank. So you'd think that, yes, of course, this stream will rise up to the surface where it's got the same density as the surface water. Well, let's see what actually happens when we do it. So I'm going to open the tap here. Let's see what happens. Here it comes. And it's coming up, and it's not getting up to the top. It's going up about halfway, and then it's spreading out sideways. It's making a mushroom cloud. And this mushroom cloud is growing more and more sideways. It's not going up. Now, that's surprising. How can that be if the liquid which is coming out is the same density as the surface of the tank, and it's much lighter than the density in the middle of the tank? What's actually happening in this demonstration is that as this stream of liquid is coming out from the volcano, it's sucking in water from roundabout. And of course, the water roundabout is denser than the stream of liquid coming out of the bottom of the volcano. And so that makes the stream as a whole denser, and it can't rise up as high as we expected at first. It can only get halfway because it's got denser by sucking in all this liquid around the side. And this process of fast jets sucking in whatever is surrounding them is actually very common. It happens all over the place. And this rather lovely demo here, demonstration, which produces these big mushroom clouds, is going to help us understand what happens at Mount St. Helens. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, this, mush this big cloud here this big eruption column at the top also made a mushroom cloud. And the next picture will show what that mushroom cloud looks like from, from a distance. Mount St. Helens is buried in the middle of the foot of that cloud. And this thing is so big that we, it couldn't actually fit in, in a camera frame. And so this is a picture made up of lots of pictures which have been glued together to make this, this one. And this mushroom cloud rose up to a height of about 20 kilometers before it spread out sideways. Now, what's happening in this? is that the stream, the hot stream of gas and, and rocks and magma coming out of that volcano is, again, sucking in the surroundings, the surrounding air. But the air, of course, is light. And the air is then heated by that hot stuff coming out of the volcano. So the air which is sucked in expands. And this is like tying lots of hot air balloons onto what's coming out of the volcano. So it rises much higher than it would otherwise rise. So whereas that, that tank, the mushroom cloud, the, the, the stream went lower than we expected, here it went higher than we expected, the process is exactly the same, that both of these streams coming out of the volcano sucked in the surroundings, and that's what makes the effect. It so happens here that because the, the air which is sucked in is heated and expands, this goes up. In the tank, the liquid which was sucked in was actually heavy, which prevented it going 
higher. But the process is the same. 